The healthcare industry today has a number of challenges. Uh, most importantly, I think we have to recognize the aging population. We have to recognize the fact that people are living longer, but not everybody living longer is healthier. And so we have to help them become healthy, stay healthy somewhere other than a hospital. I needed to have a hip replacement. So did a little bit of research to find out, well, where's the place to go? Found Hummer was great. Uh, some surgeons were, were really good here. So uh, yeah. This hospital is technologically very, very advanced. And so you get a lot of information by email, documents, forms, which is good because you're informed and so you feel good. You're not in the dark. Technology in healthcare has evolved to the point where the equipment can collect quite a bit of information. We are lighting new ways in healthcare, and that's really what we're doing by bringing this technology together, providing high reliability care. So Hummer River Hospital in 2015 uh, had the opportunity to move into a new facility. During our planning phase, we, we did a lot of visioning into what is healthcare gonna look like in 10 and 15 years. But we also looked very hard at technology. We had three vision elements in developing our new institution, our new hospital, uh, and that was lean, green, and digital. Humber has become an increasingly attractive place to work because we are a culture of providers here that really wants to nurture and foster innovation. We are a beautiful state-of-the-art facility, the first fully digital hospital in North America, and really what that drives is efficiency. Working in a digital environment in a facility like this really allows us to spend the most amount of time with our patients and the least amount of time caught up in red tape and other headaches that can really hinder your progress during the day. Our hospital has a fairly uh, well-defined strategy and a mission. We consulted over a thousand people in the community, in the healthcare community, in the community itself, and we developed a strategy that said we need to work with our community to make them healthier and to allow them to succeed, not only in healthcare, but in life. So that's one of our initiatives. The other one is to empower our staff and our patients. And we do that because we know that if we empower patients, they will, and they have health information at their fingertips, and they know what to expect, and they have a say in their care. We need to empower our staff because we need to be sure that they have the tools, the equipment, empowered staff and physicians, people who feel they are part of and can control the environment will always want to provide better care. Humber has done a lot of innovation in the digital realm, uh, improving quality of care, improving life work balance for our staff and our physicians, and we want to continue to do more research in that area. One big innovation that we have taken huge advantage of is our command center. Um, and that's something that we were the second in the world to launch within our hospital and the first in the world to really leverage that to focus on optimizing patient safety and quality of care. So high reliability is a, a cultural concept. It's, it's a concept that's used to move toward a journey of zero harm. And our hospital embarked on that, making sure that every single time that we deliver care, we, we have an outcome of zero harm. We've seen a 10% decline in reported sepsis cases, 41% decrease in inpatient code blues and observed patient harm events from our clinical deterioration tile, 34% reduction in average time a patient spends an emergency, 38% reduction was seen in the time patients wait to receive certain diagnostic tests. The command center is the digital hub for our hospital. It drives responsible informed decision making, it drives accountability and it drives early rescue for patients when we see they're running into trouble. So the tools within the command center are a lot of collaboration, I would say. A lot of um, early warning systems and algorithms that actually support the actual alerts that are built into the command center. So the command center gives us a lot of situational awareness when it comes to patient flow, for example. The next generation that we embarked upon was the patient safety and quality component. We've looked at things like labor and delivery. We've looked at things like clinical deterioration, which means we are able to predict the rate of decline for our patients and actually prevent them from going to ICU. The command center provides an additional layer of monitoring and an additional point of communication. So for example, if there's a patient that seemed to be having a change in their vital signs, the command center is there as a backstop to say, you know, were you guys aware that we're seeing this change in this patient? 
Similarly, if I am trying to advocate to get something done for a patient, the command center is a phone call away to try and convert an inpatient MRI to an outpatient. It's a two-way support system and you know it's grown in popularity and it's really been embraced as part of the culture of Humber. Innovation in many institutions is a concept. At Humber, innovation is a verb, it's an action word. Humber was the first hospital to adopt robotic technology to do urology cases. We did the first robotic case here using the Da Vinci surgical system. We did the first robotic knee here using the Rosa Zimmer system as well. We've also innovated and created iPlan, which is a discharge planning system that assists patients to go home earlier. At Humber Hospital, sometimes we have complex cases that we get to do, particularly just knee replacement surgery. Some patients have a lot of deformity in their limb. This makes doing a total knee replacement much more challenging than traditional. Now that we have Rosa, we're able to take images ahead of time to calibrate them to size the patient appropriately Intraoperatively, we can navigate and know where we're putting our pieces without having to use manual instruments that we did historically. Afterwards, they go home with a pain pump, which is a new innovation at Humber Hospital. That allows them to be pain-free for up to 72 hours after their surgery. During their surgery, their family members will get uh, updates via text messages about where their family member is. I think that helps alleviate the stress of family members and also helps alleviate patient stress. So from the patient perspective, they're getting top-of-the-line surgery with the latest technology, post-operative and intraoperative anesthetic care that allows them to be pain-free during their procedure and after. We have a team here that specializes in same-day surgery, which calls the patients afterwards. And in fact, we've even remote monitor all our patients with an app. So all these innovations are small things which aggregate, you know, give us a huge benefit overall for that patient. Humber River in general has lower surgical wait times because it's one of the best kept secrets in the GTA. I think once people get to see Humber and realize the care they have and realize that there's a shorter wait waiting list for many surgical procedures, they end up coming to Humber Hospital. Part of being an organization that believes in innovation is understanding that the innovation curve has a lot of funding attached to it. Being a public payer system, what's important is that we achieve our return on investment on a lot of these innovations. Often with these new innovations of care process changes, new technology changes and new models of care, what we've found is that a lot of times using that culture, that team-based approach, we've been able to achieve that return on investment much quicker. We have frontline nurses, frontline staff, porters, um, EDS staff that come up with ideas and those ideas get brought up and they get operationalized. And that's what allows us to disrupt every single process. And when we look at how do we increase accessibility for this community, provide them access to the best care possible, that drives us as an institution to provide the best care for them. Humber River Health's goal is to continue to innovate, continue to use technology to provide better, safer care, and allowing our practitioners to be part of a unique opportunity to care for our patients in a better way. The second component of that is focusing on our community and extending all of that same technology, but also a culturally sensitive care. And we are on that journey now. So we have what is called the Northwest Toronto Ontario Health Team. When you can receive care in your local community that's culturally sensitive, that's very important to us and that's Ontario Health Teams. Communication is key. I just know the information I've been given and so I had a lot of information from the hospital. So when you get information, you feel good about it because you think you, you have the illusion that you have some control over what's going on around you. So it's very, very helpful. I was blown away with um, sort of some of the technology, the cleanliness of the hospital. I wasn't here very long, but, and that just blew me away. So I was in and out in a, you know, in a day. So what I would share with other hospitals is let's all go on the journey of using technology and AI to improve patient care because we know it works, but let's share the information. 